Hey guys, this is Vinay and I'm back again to the seventh video of the C++ programming and Linux video series. And in this video, we are left with our last object of interest from the iStream file. We have already discussed the C out, we have already discussed the C error, we have already discussed the C log. Now we are left with the C in and as it is already specified in this file that the C in is linked to the standard input. We use the scene to make our program interactive we, to take the input from the user while computing. Now one thing that I would like to share that uh, to deal with the CN we need some thing called variable. And what is variable? Uh, from the very start, from the birth of the programming languages, the programming languages are created for computing, to make program that would compute something like the normal mathematical problems uh, say the age of the father that deals with like that the age of the father is equal to 40 and the age of the son is equals to father's age and uh, minus uh, 25 like that uh, and in this way uh, uh, we were have to find out what is the age of the son in this case and we need to subtract the age of the father and uh, subtract the 25 from the age of the father and in this way we we get the age of the son uh, and this is a very simple computing and for such kind such type of kind and maybe, maybe more complex we need uh, we make programs for such computing and uh, what can i say that uh, here in this particular problem you can see that i have assigned some uh, value 40 to the father and uh, uh, assigning the value of the son is the father minus 25 and in this way here you can see the identity say father son these are the variable values you can say that if the age of the son it may be anything it may be the if the age of the father varies if it is not 40 if it is something say 60 the age of the son would not be 15 would be something else and in this way uh, uh, we need to declare some variable uh, because the value stored inside the variable is continuously changed. Sometimes we can make it constant and for these more modifiers required we'll discuss it later. Now the age of the father is 40, age of the son is something. Now here we can see uh, the values getting stored inside this the thing father, this variable father is an integer type. So and from here a fact comes up that C++ language that we are learning here is called a strongly typed language. What, what is it called? A strongly typed language. Why it is called a strongly typed language? Because of the fact that every variable inside the C++ has its type. We have to provide the type of the variable specifically before using it and this is the way and we declare the variable for example if we are going to store something 7 inside the variable then the type of the variable should be in that we have already watched in previous tutorials uh, the written type of the main int is just for integer we are specifying that the variable g is going to store some variable that is an integer and there is 7 say I want to store some character this is also a specification you will learn here that say if we want to store some variable v you can see the single quotes whenever we need to store some character inside a variable we need to cover it with single quotes now you can see now if we are going to store the character inside that the written type the data type of this particular variable would not be integer that would be char because we are going to store the character in it I would like to show you one thing that there are several kind of such things there are several kind of data types and uh, we need to use these uh, to make computing in our program like these variables there are several other things inside uh, the C++ that are the part of that language for example I'm talking to you in English and for this I'm using several words and uh, 
uh, proper combination of this those words is creating sentence that you can understand and I can convey my message to you in a similar way the C++ language has their some own words that we call it the keywords and uh, by combining those words logically it creates some meaning and that we call it the computer instruction and the, our computer who understand the machine language understand uh, get is get those instructions and perform the task as per requirement and uh, what are the keywords uh, that uh, are used in the C++? I have listed the, those for you, especially for you, and uh, they can be like that. Wait a while, yeah, they can be like that. Uh, ASM, auto, bool, break, case, you can see the integer data type that we used. There are several other things, uh, <laughs> whatever you can see here in the green color, these are the data types they are specifying what kind of data we are going to store in our variable say so if they can be integer if there is some long data that can be stored uh, that uh, that is of the bigger size we use the long keyword and there are several things that call care auto auto is the default type if uh, we are not doing anything it is auto it's something the other storage classes we'll discuss it later and uh, that those are given in the rad color say class catch try this using these are the other things that are not the variables while this is the looping condition and all so this is just for your reference that we will use in future and just to show you make aware that there are several kind of variables and these are the keywords of the C++ programming language now come up with uh, our CM thing to make our program interactive I'll show you how to write and how to use the CM now let's move on to where we were, workspace, C++, and now we are going to pro uh, create gedit take input dot cc. Right now, hash include io stream as always. Wow, now it looks familiar. Using namespace std and uh, now we need to create the main function uh -oh. now. now to use the cm we need a variable okay let's let me define i'll clear it out say so integer a i have created a variable a and i need to take the whatever i will print i will give the input through my keyboard to the variable a and for this i will use the cm now whatever i will give to the through the keyboard to my computer would get stored inside this console input now from this console input i want to put the data whatever i have entered to this variable a in this way and to watch what is inside that variables we will use the C out okay as in the previous tutorials we have uh, C out some string we can see out some variable also like in a similar way and an handle to put the new line character that's it it's a very simple program and we can see here that there's some variable a and whatever we print through our keyboard would get redirected into this variable and we'll print out that variable then what is that variable the whatever we have the uh, input to that variable save it out check it out and for this we need just need to compile our program that is take input.cc press enter bam it's compiled successfully dot slash it out press enter now it's just ex expecting some input to a variable Scene is expecting something from us and we are going to put something. I am going to give it an integer 70 to that. Now I press enter. Now you can see I have printed 70 and see how it gives out the value is stored inside the variable and an handle character. And in this way we deal with any program. We now we are in a position to take some input and provide some output. Now we are able to create a program in which we are providing some input, can do some logical tasks and 
give out some output and uh, this is fair good thing that now we are in a situation to program now we just need to focus on this middle portion that what logical task can we do with the input to provide some logical output now this is enough for this tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe